if you fall off, I take no responsibility for any injuries you get, but I will do my best to not cause you to fall off. Oh God, don't do that. Oh, this is an Omnium Minimax Wi-Fi cargo bike. A cargo bike is a bike made for carrying cargo. <laughs> Or dogs in this case, which are also cargo. Did you hear that, Bella? Jimmy said you were cargo. One of the distributors for this brand, which is Omnium, is a, uh, a bike shop in London, East London, called Paradise. One of the owners of Paradise Cycles. He has an Omnium cargo bike with a dog on the front of it. He's also a distributor for this brand. It just made sense to have a chat with him and see what we could do. We couldn't get stock of the official e-bike. So they have one where the frame has got like that big hole in it, you know, where they put like a Bosch motor in. So he was like, well, we'll get a standard one and I'll do a conversion. And we're like, yeah, screw it. Let's just see what you can do. You, you know what you're doing. The Mini Max, which is what this is, means that it's a cargo bike with a smaller front end. They have a proper cargo bike, which is like even longer again. And the Wi-Fi, I think it's Wi-Fi, basically means that it can handle mountain bike tires and mud guards. 2.1 inch tires and mud guards on this bike with still tons of clearance. So that's what the Wi-Fi does. A lot of the spec on the build was put together by James at Paradise Cycles just because he knew what he was doing. We basically just gave him a brief. We want to be able to commute to work. It's about 10k each way. It's going to be hilly. Obviously, it's only going to be with a dog, so it's not a huge, heavy load. What he did off the back of that was made sure we've got really powerful brakes because we're going to be going down some really steep stuff and that the spec of the e-motory thing was suitable and that the battery has enough charge to hold. <laughs> oh, I'm going the wrong way. You know, Pedal Me do this around London. You can order it like an Uber. A Pedal Me bike like this and just get in and be taken to your destination. But I think they have a more comfortable seat. Well, it might be that they have a seat rather than like some poles that you're not meant to sit on and you're resting your like neck directly on the pole, which is then being like thrown around by the wheel. Doesn't sound very comfortable, does it? We want to be able to commute to work with Bella and like the best option, especially when you live where we are because it's hilly, um, was to get something that has an e-motor and with it being a cargo bike rather than a trailer or a backpack, uh, it just means that it's like much more stable and safer for us and for Bella. Yeah, it feels really safe. <laughs> but you say that, now, you, now you've found, worked out how to sit on the thing and I've worked out how to not tip over, you're pretty chilled though, aren't you? The wobble, fucking hell, you're gonna kill you're us. Wobbling. I'm not, I'm you're not. Wobbling. <laughs> so the frame is the extra small in the colour they call blurple, which is like a blue purple flip thing with glitters and stuff. It's in an it. awesome paint job. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the motor is made by Buff Bafang, which are like the go-to illegal e-bike motors that you can get, but they don't have to be, you can spec them so they're not illegal like this one. Uh, the motor is actually a two, no, a 750 watt motor, which is absolutely bonkers, but it's not actually running at 750, it's about 400 watts. You know, you see those like delivery riders where they're not actually pedaling and they've actually got throttles. That's what you can do with these. You can get a throttle for it, so you don't even need to pedal. This is uh, not official advice. Do not do this. Well, no, of course it's not advice. It's illegal, at least in this country. It's probably not in some countries. No one does illegal stuff. No, no one. Battery is absolutely massive. It's got a custom 3D printed battery case, uh, which is quite hard to see. It's actually tucked under the cargo -y bit. But that, one of the reasons it took quite a while for us to get this together is because they literally designed this battery box to build this bike, it's so fucking cool. Wheel set is, again, it's just something they recommended. Sentient Nar. Schwalbe tires on front and back. Uh, no particular other, other reason than Schwalbe do a tire that's like got the most insane puncture protection ever. So you would probably never really want them on a road bike because they're way four kilos probably just for the tires. Two inch tire on the back, Schwalbe two inch tire on the back, a Marathon E Plus. And then the front one is a 20 inch wheel and it's got a 2.15 inch tire on it, which is a Schwalbe Big Ben Plus. Again, I would just said, we don't want knobblies. It can fit knobbly tires. We're like, we don't need wob knobblies. We need a bit of grip and something that's not gonna puncture. Shifters are Shimano Dior. I didn't see any point in us going like really high end because you just do weight saving, which is definitely not a goal on a 30 kilo cargo e-bike. You don't really care about saving weight on group set. Rear mech is a Shimano SLX um, because it can handle a big gear ratio because we wanted to be able to get it up any hill we wanted. 
say your battery runs out, you still want to be able to make sure you can get home. Chainset is a company called Lecky. I know absolutely nothing about them at all. It was what they spec'd to make sure the chain line fits. It's uh, kind of cool. It, it's a really good looking chain set. I, I it's got think, red on it, it must be good. I think it's a brand that specifically do like e-bike drive chain things for these kind of setups. So it's 32 tooth chain ring, 1146 tooth cassette. So even without the electric motor, the range on it is just like, you, you, you'd ride it up pretty much anything, even if the motor cut out. And that was kind of what we were working on the basis of. What happens if you get stuck? The motor fails, your battery runs out, something happens, you still want to be able to actually ride it rather than have to just kind of throw it in a bush and give up. So the Magura four pot brakes, does that mean, that's, is that like a mountain bike thing? It's like a double brake almost, the, like two sets of pistons and then a much longer pad, so more contact to the disc More contact, oh, well that makes sense. Yes. It, it works unbelievably well. Would definitely be overkill on a road bike, <laughs> but considering this weighs probably like, I don't know, 20, 25 kilos unloaded, if you're going down a steep hill, you definitely want to make sure you can stop. Sentient, which I think the people which made our wheels also, made this weird conversion thing to the front, which I think is known as a Hunderbar. Hunderbar. Hunderbar, yes. One of the things, because it's for a bike, the things we've adapted is we've actually got an extender plate on the front, uh, which makes the cargo section longer. It then has a custom made canvas thing, which goes across it so that there's like support area for the dog. And then we then have a custom three point harness. When Bella's on the bike in her harness, there's a clip on the front of the chest and then a clip on the back, which are like set lengths. She can't go in any direct, she can move freely, but not a huge range of motion. So she can't fall off the side, she can't jump off the front, she can't come too far backwards. But she has enough like freedom that she doesn't feel like she's restricted whilst on the bike. Um, so that was another thing that Paradise sorted out was basically like specking and custom making all of that stuff. So it's just a mad thing just for dogs really. This is said 3D printed battery case. So they've like sealed it and everything so it's fully waterproof. It's mad when you think that's the size of the battery. It's properly hench, isn't it? I think it's a perfect example of why e-bikes are, or can be, car replacements rather than bike replacements. This basically means you don't have to drive to work anymore. Because that's the thing, you can basically spec the cargo bit however you want to use it. So if you wanted a seat on it, you can put a seat on it for a kid. If you wanted to carry your shopping on it, you could put a crate on it. Phase two of today, Atticus have released some of their new kit for summer. So we're going to take some photos of it. So we're heading to the cafe via a bicycle ride. <laughs> nicer riding with you when you're on that bike. Whoa, 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 whoa! What, what, why? Because, because it's easy for you. Yes. <laughs> to end today's video, you have six seconds to advertise your new kit. Go. We have new kit now. <laughs>